the air filter now. So what we got to do is we got to remove the seat. In order to get the seat off of this wing, because this wing's a little bit different than most, or some, is we have to remove the uh, long Allen bolts that's in each grip. There's two on each side, and then the grips will come off, and then the seat comes up this way and up and out. On uh, heated seat versions, there's going to be a wiring harness there that you're going to have to unplug. Uh, then these strips got to come off here. There's bolts all along under that strip, and those bolts need to be put back in the exact same place. So a little bit of cardboard, just shove them in the cardboard in the order in which they come out. It's going to make it a little bit easier. And then I think it's the uh, dash we'll go after, and then we'll go after the top part of the shelter, and eventually we'll start to move down because the air filter is about down here. Fuel tank comes here, air filter is down around here, so it should be lots of fun. So let's get to it. When you're taking off the, the handles and stuff here, you've got to hold on to one hand and make sure it don't drop down on the saddlebags because if it does, you're going to put in a bad day. When you've got to lift off your seat, you want to come over here, Kathy, and get in that way. See? Lift off your seat like that. And it's a little bit of a tight fit, but it will go. And that's your seat off. Wow, look at that. Dusty. Well, the back right part stays on, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, that's it for now. We'll come back and do some So we're going to pull off the side covers. Lay them down. Now, anybody that got a GL1800, I don't care what year it is, take my advice. And every time you pull the seat off or the side covers off, you're going to want to look at every weld along here, especially if you pull a trailer. You want to inspect each weld to make sure there's no hairline cracks in it. And uh, so now we're going to start pulling off this stuff here, and then we'll start rooting at the uh, top shelf. Uh, this model of GL1800, you just pull the bottom out first, and there's little clips on the side, and that's how they look, and that's where your bolts are going to be. So you start taking those bolts out there next. Well, this is what I mean about indexing the bolts that comes out of the shelter. As they're coming out, you put them in order. Like that. So what, what you do, like I say, you just keep taking these bolts out. For some reason, there's a bit of an oddball there, but that, that might have been because of the, the wing. And... So that's basically how it's going to look. That's for this side, and that'll represent the right-hand side. So that's what I mean about indexing the bolts. Come over and show you something. These are little pins that Honda uses, and they go in the pockets. They hold the pockets down, and to release them, you have to push on them. Now, you'll see these on Honda cars a lot. But whatever happens when you push that, if you don't pull them up out of there, and you go to pull the... the uh, the pot up, like they fly, and I think they fly south because I've never been successful finding one after it left. <laughs> really? Like they, and if, if you leave them in there and you go to haul this little compartment out, sometimes they'll fall down inside. Now, if they fall down inside, the FBI, the KGB, nobody's going to find it. That's bad. So, as you're poking them out, pull them out. Okay? So, we're just going to do the same here a couple of screws over there and a couple of those push pins. Then we're going to pull the, the uh, compartments out. This one here has got a little bit of a, well, it's, put it this way, it's been slightly modded. So it complicates things a little bit more than normal. But anyway, I'll continue on as if I was normal. Once you get the pocket out here, there's a little tab here. And you have to move the little tab. Now, folks, don't be too scared because most likely your bike is not going to be as bad as this one. There's an awful lot of wiring on this bike that, let me just say, was added after the bike was purchased. If you look down there, you'll see some of it. So now I got to go down, I got to dig down, and I got to find a plug for that. And when I do, 
that'll just unplug. So there's what the plug looks like. So when you go to pull this pocket out here, there's going to be a release cable, which is here. You see the cable moving? You just basically, because you can't get a camera, you basically poke that up and under there, and you take out your your wire, your cable, your release cable. That release cable, by the way, 90% of all technicians forget to hook that back up, put this in, close the lid, and can't get the lid back open. So you have one of those all my beep de beep, beep days. All right, but you do get, you can get it open. There are ways of getting it open. So uh, yeah, so that's out, and uh, we're gonna go after this control next. With the other side, you just take your screwdriver, put it in there, and just pull up on that little tab, and this is basically what you see. Right? Look, I ripped my glove. All I could see when that happened was compensation slips. <laughs> Holy smokes! Like, remember Bugs Bunny get hit, or somebody get hit on Bugs Bunny, John? You see little stars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, when that happened, all I could see was compensation slips going around. <laughs> but then I was going to go in and get some cats up and rub it all over my hand. But then. She, you know, she would have known, wiped it all off, and said, "Get back to work." You know. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> exactly. Right. Yeah. So yeah. So that's it. So now I'm going to move on to the top part of the shelter. Okay. With these vents, these are a little bit different than most guys got because these are painted. Uh, little tabs pull out on the bottom first and gently pull off that way. There should be no reason, like, to hook a cable or anything onto it or a rope. And hook it onto the back of your truck and pull it off. They will come off easier than that. So I got to work on the other side now. Okay, so there's a Allen key bolts down here and down here, and a couple of those little pins there. And then technically, you should be able to grab onto it. Now under here, there's going to be a wiring harness, and uh, I got to get under there now and pull that wiring harness apart. Okay, hopefully now. Oh yes, wouldn't you know it, there's another one there for my alarm system. So that's how that looks. So we're starting to get places now. So now we're going after this top shelter. Now I've had this stripped down before, right to the the beer bones. I'll tell you what, I'm going to insert a picture and it's, I'm going to call it gold wing porn. I inserted it in the other uh, video just in case some new viewers haven't seen it. I'll show you how far I had to strip down so I'll insert the picture here. Okay, so as you can see it was pretty well stripped down. So now let's continue on as if we were normal. And try to pull this off. Luke, are you paying attention? Yeah, yeah. Because just point that camera at Luke. Here's the idea, see? I'm taking it apart. Luke's going to put it together. <laughs> oh, wait, now you're letting them know. Oh, yeah. I, I forgot to mention that to you earlier on. I forgot to tell you about my doctor's appointment. <laughs> yeah. oh, I forgot to tell you, if you don't put it back together, you're going to have to see a specialist, not a general <laughs> practitioner. <laughs> <laughs> so up there, there's a radio. you got to pull out the fuse. And there is a pile, and I mean a pile of electrical connectors. So I'm going to go get my light. We're going to unplug it, and then I'll show you what the connectors look like. Anyway, we're going to make a, a hole in the bike here now, I'll tell you. There. Whoa, that's a hole. That's a hole. So I'm going after the bolts. There's one bolt down here for that intake, and then I'm going to get the other bolt in there, and then I'm going to start pulling the ECM and the cruise control module. Just take those wires and you pull them aside there for your radio, and these two here are for your uh, cruise control module. You pull out these tabs here, push up on them tabs, and you pull the module out like that. Just lay it aside. ECM is here, electronic control module for the fuel injection system. So you don't need to unplug, you just pull out and just lay it aside. And uh, now we're going to go after the uh, cruise control servo. Okay, so we got a couple of sensors that's unplugged here. One here, and we have the cruise control module unplugged. We have four 10 millimeter uh, bolts pulled out. We're going to pull up on this now. And 
what are we going to do with this? We're going to just throw it aside here, I guess. And uh, now the air breather box is down here, so we're getting there. I said it was a bit lower, but it's not. I kind of like to exaggerate, you know. But anyway, so we've got to take out some uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven screws, and the air cleaner box will come up, or a cover will come up, we'll see the filter. Geez, have we got anything here surgically can remove his fingers from his hands from his pockets? Here, Luke, hold that back. <coughs> of course, now he'll go over and tell everybody that I never got this, don't wait for him. <laughs> so we got all the screws out here now. He was here one day a few weeks ago and I was putting something in a vehicle, a valve cover or something, and I was having a cylinder head or something, and I was having all kinds of trouble. I said, boy, this is the worst part now. I've got to put this back in, and this is not going to go easy. Luke reaches in, holds something back, and bloop. It went right in place, didn't yeah, it? Yeah. yeah. Still waiting for my check on that. Yeah, it's in the mail. <laughs> <laughs> There it is. It is there. Nice and clean down there, though. Yeah. There it is. So there it is. It's uh, yeah. It's time for a change. And whatever chemical that they use on them, you can't clean them. I was just gonna say you can't clean them. Or... No. Okay. No. So it's uh, and why would you risk it? True. Right? You know. So. That's the filter, so we'll just put the new one back in and reverse the procedure. Maybe what I'll do is play the video backwards. I <laughs> 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 yeah, could do that. I <laughs> could actually do that. True. Yeah, I might do that. <laughs> yeah, so that's it for the air. So what I'm going to do before I put all this back together, I'm going to tidy this up and I'm going to go after my front forks, but that'll be another video itself. So there's the filter. So it's no shame. It's a $50 filter yes. in Canada. It's probably $14.99 in the States, right? Uh, you know, but in Canada it's, it's $50. So, so there's a difference, eh? Yeah, there is a bit of a difference. Did you so, say that's original? No, no. That's been replaced once. Okay. Yeah, it's 40,000 kilometers on the bike. And it's not, the bike is never used in a dusty environment, so it goes to show you still need to do them, right? Absolutely. Cool. Got to go work. Ah. <laughs> Stop doing that. Well, hey, you know what? We were looking for the name. This this bike was signed in the factory. Yeah. And I just saw the name. Yeah, we were wondering where it was. Holly. There it is. Yeah. Holly. Yeah. Cool. But it was, it, of course, now when we got it, it was marked. It was really bright. Really bright, yeah. Anyway, folks, that's, that's the air filter. So we're going to just reverse the procedure to reinstall. Uh, what I'm going to do while I'm having my break is I'm going to uh, size up. I'm probably going to leave the shelter off right now. That'll allow me to get at my forks much easier. So I'm going to just pull the front end off while this is all apart. Hey, you know, the heck with it. It might never work again, but, you know... <laughs> You got to admit, it's interesting. And the bike has been here. Well, my gosh, the bike's been here for two weeks now. Oh, that's for sure. You know, I, it came in to change the oil, which was a month and a half overdue. But we didn't get to use the bike a lot this summer. So I said, well, I'll go ahead and I'll bring it in. I'll service it. So Luke had trouble one Sunday morning. So I turned around and I, I helped Luke out. And while I was helping Luke out, I changed the oil. So that's all done. And the rear differential fluid and stuff is all done. So now I'll go back at the fork seals. The fork seals got one little small little weep. And while it's here, I'm going to shove. We shoved the back tire on it already. The new new back tire. We're going to shove a new front tire on. We'll do the fork seals. And by the time I'll have my coffee drink. <laughs> so we're going to reverse the procedure with uh, regards to the air filter. And I hope you enjoyed it. Even for the guys who haven't had a gold wing or don't have a gold wing, it'll give you an appreciation of just how complicated these bikes can be because these bikes are very complicated. Fortunately, they don't give a lot of trouble. So, matter of fact, they don't give any trouble. So it's pretty well a maintenance-free bike and it can go like a bat out of hell. Hey, Kathy. Oh, yeah. You know, we, we really enjoy the bike, you know. There's people that watch us like Paul Myers from, uh, from Ontario 
and uh, he has a beautiful, beautiful gold mine. And I mean, there's other people like uh, Henrich from South Africa. Henrich loves to uh, to look at the videos. So although Henrich never saw a a particular gold wing before, he'll see how one works. So one of those days he'll say, Ah, I see one now. I have to change the air filter one then, <laughs> right? Yeah. And then there's the Walrus in, in uh, down under, and he watches our videos, and he has an older gold wing. And it don't matter what type of motorcycle you have in this life, as long as you ride, that's all that matters. Just take a look around the next time you're around a psychiatrist building. You'll never see a motorcycle parked in the lot. Why? Because we're all out riding. We don't have time to be dealing with these people. So anyway, it don't matter what you ride, as long as you ride. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. You guys take care, and we'll see you in the next video, which will be the, the uh, fork seal replacement. And have a great day, and God bless.